Welcome to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we will be reviewing the infamous A Serbian Film. A Serbian Film is a 2010 horror exploitation feature produced and directed by Serdan Spasajovic. The film follows a financially struggling, semi-retired porn star named Milos, now trying to navigate his way through living the mundane family man life, as he reminisces about his past and career as a porn icon. Unexpectedly, Milos is contacted and offered an opportunity to star in a big-budget pornographic art project being directed by a man named Vukmir, an opportunity that will pay Milos more than enough to fully retire and give him and his family the life of their dreams. Though the pay is enticing, Milos is reluctant to sign on to the picture, as he discovers many aspects of the project are being deliberately obscured. He is denied a request to see the script, who he will be working with, or simply even a basic synopsis of what the film entails. Vukmir explains that it's all part of an effort to make the film authentic, and that he wants Milos's actions on screen to be organic and genuine. Milos is hesitant, but ultimately agrees to sign on to the project. From here on, the film quickly spirals into a series of obscene graphic elements of depravity, as Milos slowly realizes that he's been lured into a pornographic underworld of sexual violence, rape, pedophilia, and snuff. All elements of the film which are graphically and explicitly displayed on screen. Upon the film's initial release, a Serbian film received substantial attention and controversy for its explicit elements of graphic sexual violence, specifically sexual violence inflicted on children and infants, resulting in the film being banned in Spain, Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Norway. The film had a limited release in UK theaters, with 4 minutes and 11 seconds of the film's original content being removed by the British Board of Film Classification. In the United States, the film was also given a limited release, but not before being given an NC-17 rating and an additional minute of content being cut shorter than the UK release. Despite the waves of disdain coming from mainstream critics, the film quickly became a cult favorite within the extreme horror underground with the picture being seen by many as the big daddy of extreme horror films, being ranked among other cult classics, such as the August Underground Trilogy, Martyrs, and Murder Set Pieces. In 2018, Stephen Byro of Unearth Films hosted an exhibition in Los Angeles, showcasing various pieces of the film's storyboard, screen used props, wardrobe outfits, as well as stars from the film making an appearance. Additionally, the film has become a topic of discussion in a number of academic film studies journals, such as Sean Kimber's publication, Transgressive Edge Play and a Serbian Film, from Bournemouth University. Unearthed Films is also currently in the works of putting together a feature-length documentary on the film, which is slated to be released later this year. Over a decade later, it appears that the impact of a Serbian film is still sending residual shockwaves through the cinematic community even up to present day. And with this recent Unearthed Films uncut Blu-ray release, it appears that there's a whole new batch of naive horror fans who will either be ready to join the picket lines in an effort to get the film banned, or will have discovered their new favorite horror film that they will eagerly add to their collections. Unlike other horror films that brandish the extreme banner but fail to deliver what it promises, a Serbian film really does live up to its controversial legacy. It is unflinching and unapologetic when it comes to its scenes of graphic sexual violence, and its rumored segments of mistreatment and exploitation of children really are there in graphic detail. This truly is a film that generates a deep divide. Either it is seen as the king of boundary-pushing artistic cinema, or it is seen as a repulsive, problematic feature that has no artistic merit and needs to be banned outright. But for new audiences who feel the need to lean towards the latter, keep in mind that this film came out over a decade ago, and during that time, the world did not crumble to its knees. Yes, the film details some very disturbing and horrific subject matter, 
but it is also subject matter that is not real. Everything within this feature is simulated. It was accomplished through acting and special effects. So keep in mind that when we decide to restrict and censor the art that we don't like, we are chipping away at our own freedoms, which feels like a heavy compromise to force upon society, considering that you had the freedom to turn off the TV in the first place. Before I end this video, if you're a fan of Cinema's Underbelly and are interested in checking out some of my other projects, make sure to visit my podcast, The Uneasy Terrain Explorers Club, where I examine different aspects of fringe culture through film, art, ideology, and lifestyle. Also, make sure to check out my label, Putrid Productions, where you can purchase films that I've released, check out my photo book series, and snag merch of my various projects. As always, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.